We are just a couple days away from UFC 303. And while the card on Saturday is much different than the one promised a month ago with Conor McGregor, many believe this one might even be better. Fox 5's Vince Appienza has more from today's press conference and exclusive one-on-one -on -one with UFC President Dana White. Ten athletes took to the stage for UFC 303, and while each had a chance to make their case for Saturday night, only two of them truly exchanged a war of words. Welcome to Las Vegas and welcome to International Fight Week. Dana White was all smiles Thursday afternoon despite losing his main event of Conor McGregor and Michael Chandler just a few weeks ago. Prior to him taking the stage at T-Mobile Arena, I caught up with the UFC president to see if there was any update on the notorious one. Conor's injured. Conor's injured. There's no rebooking. We're not even talking about that right now. Not even, not only we're not even talking about it, we're not even thinking about it. Now, while McGregor was absent, there was still plenty of bravado from his countryman, Ian Machado Gary, who faces off against Michael Venom Page. It's my job to go out there and prove that I'm younger, I'm faster, I'm more talented, more technical, and there's a reason why I'm hyped as one of the best prospects this sport's ever seen. I need subtitles. I can't hear him. I do not underestimate you. I just know I'm better than you. Is that clear enough? Well done, bro. Well done. No doubt all eyes will be on Saturday night, but Dana is already working on the next Las Vegas event. It's Noche UFC 2, a pay-per-view that takes place over Mexican Independence Weekend, located at the Sphere. I'm $17 million into this thing. So if you look at like a U2, okay? <laughs> yeah. U2 comes in and they spend the money and it's amortized over 40 events. Mm -hmm. This is a one and done. It's, I'm gonna do this one time. This was meant to happen. This was meant to be one time and one time only. This fear is like, this is the biggest thing. If you look at all the monumental things we've done in the UFC, this is my masterpiece. This is my, um, again, why? why? Why would I do this? Everybody says it couldn't be done. Everybody says this is crazy. How do you put an octagon in the sphere? How does this work? You're all going to find out on September 14th. This is going to be the greatest live sporting event ever. Now, as for who's fighting on that car, Dana said they're working on it. What we do know is who's fighting on UFC 303. And next up on the schedule is the fight before the fight. Weigh-ins Friday morning and then the ceremonial weigh-ins right here at T-Mobile Arena at 5 o'clock. It is free and open to the public. But that is latest from T-Mobile Arena. Vince Sapienza, Fox 5 News Local, Las Vegas.